We have four two-in-ones here running on Intel U-Series uh, platform, three of which on Skylake and one of them, the Surface Pro 3, running on good old uh, Haswell from two generations ago. What I'm going to do in this test is a test I've done a number of times on a number of different devices, and that is a, a, a render test, rendering from PowerDirector a 1080p file at fairly high bitrate using Intel QuickSync. And the reason why I, do, I want to do this is it gives it a good 10-minute load across the devices, and we can see how warm, how noisy these things get, whether they downclock, and then we can also see over a period of time the relative CPU and Intel QuickSync performance of the uh, four devices. Let me just quickly go through the four devices. We've got the Lenovo Mix 700 here with a Core M5 Skylake CPU. We've got the Surface Book here with the Core i7, that's a very high-end Core i7 Skylake CPU. We've got the HP Spectra X2 here with the Core M7, not the i7, we've got the M7 um, uh, Skylake CPU. And then we've got uh, the Surface Pro 3 on that Haswell generation core i5 this is fanless and this is fanless the two surfaces are devices with fans in i have a good reference point with the surface pro 3 that's why it's in there this scores between 10 and 14 minutes on a rendering test depending on how warm it is the environment here is fairly cool all devices have been fairly idle for uh, around the last 10 minutes so what i'm going to do is kick those off i want me to kick them off exactly the same time we'll see if i can do that as close as I can and at the end we'll see the actual final rendering time so here go 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 right all for ah I wanted to do the preview on that sorry cancel let's just fix that right let's give that a second go we've got the previews enabled so you'll be able to see the relative performance or the progress on the on the actual preview screens there let's try again Right, all four with preview screens on. Give them a, a minute to actually uh, show any sort of advantages uh, between the uh, processors. Um, but obviously the Book 4 is going to be the, the fastest. This is a very high-end 2,700 euros bit of kit. Quite incredible. Has got the NVIDIA, NVIDIA GPU inside, but that's not being used with PowerDirector. PowerDirector 14 is not enabled with NVIDIA GPU support by the NVIDIA software. It's actually blocked out from support by NVIDIA, um, presumably because in processes like this, the quick sync is better and more suited to this uh, type of device in terms of um, battery life. So I'll let that run through uh, at high speed and then we'll, I'll measure the performance and noise as we go through. We'll talk about the results at the end. Right, what I just did there is to enable the task manager, nothing else, so that we can see the actual CPU clock rate of these uh, four devices. Let me zoom in and you can take a look at those as they run through the test. At this point, the Service Pro, sorry, the Service Book 4 is warm and loud. Service Pro 3, warm in one area. One area. Remember, this doesn't have the heat spreader on it, so it gets very hot in one area, which causes it to throttle back quite a lot. X2, not too much heat on the back. And the Mix 700 also doing pretty good as well, these two silent devices. Let me close in on the uh, CPU performance. There's the Lenovo Mix 700 there. Running up at around 1 1.7, 1 1.6, 1 1.7 gigahertz dual core performance. There's the Surface Book running there at 3 gigahertz dual core performance. There's the Spectra X2 running currently at 1.6, 1.7 gigahertz dual core. And there is the Surface Pro 4 showing evidence that it's throttling back. This is a device that should run up to 2.4, 2.5, 2.6 gigahertz, but it's now running down at uh, 2 Giga, that's 1.95, that's likely to drop over time. So of those four devices, the Surface Pro 3 showing evidence of throttling. We're just coming to the end of the processing for the Surface Pro 4. I'm just feeling for heat across the back. It is quite warm, and there's 
a fair bit of noise coming out of it, not as much as the Surface Pro 3 is right now. And I've had the Surface Pro 4, which gets extremely loud, and this is a little bit quieter than the Surface Pro 4. So that was a good, uh, good performance there. Six minutes, 44 seconds from the Book 4. Let's fast forward to the next winner. It's going to be pretty close between the Pro 3, between the Mix 700 and the Spectra X2. We're just coming to the end now for the other three devices. It looks like that Mix 700 is going to win. And I'm just feeling the back for temperature now. It might give us an indication of why. Because the Spectra X2 is a little bit warmer than the Mix 700. For the Mix 700, then in 8 minutes 45 seconds, the Spectra X2, 8 minutes 54 seconds, and the Surface Pro 3, 8 minutes 56 seconds, which is one of the fastest scores I've seen from the from the Pro 3 in this test. Um, some of the early tests I did, which were in a warm environment, uh, were with previous generations of software, previous generations of uh, build in terms of Windows 10 and drivers as well. So the Surface Pro 3 seems to be uh, better than it used to be. But the interesting thing is here, Haswell, two generations ago, and Core M5 and 7, both, all three of them, around the same speed for a quicksick enabled HD video render without too many effects or CPU loads uh, going on. A lot of that work being done by the video encoding engine. And so you'll see all the performance there. Those three pretty much exactly the same. But you can see how that Core i7, that fan, and that thermal design on the book really are helping to make it uh, a lot faster. That's a 30% uh, well, these devices are uh, at least 30% uh, slower than, than this, which came in at uh, under 7 minutes for the render test. So really good with the book. So there are a lot of variations uh, that could be uh, made here. We could run all of these through 10 times to see which ones really do last the, te uh, the test of time. I could make a longer video render file. But I think this is uh, about your sort of average YouTube home video editing scenario. And it also represents a bit of short-term gaming as well, because gaming, of course, brings these devices uh, brings these uh, devices un under that same sort of uh, load. Although, having said that, with uh, gaming, there'd be more GPU load than CPU load. But uh, even so, you get the idea that throttling occurs under heat. Right. Thanks for watching. If that was useful for you, or if you have any questions, unfortunately, I didn't have the Surface uh, Pro 4 here to do this test with at the same time. But if you have any questions about that test, don't forget to put them in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you uh, got something out of the video and subscribe. Next video on this channel will be Surface Book. We'll be taking a look at that. And uh, if you haven't watched the videos already, on the uh, Mix 700 and the Spectra X2, please do. The next video up will be of the Surface Book. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on that video.